Welcome back to the Underground Podcast. Probably the first episode in a long time where I, I haven't got the cat. The hat's here, yeah? It's, it's going for this episode because I've just had a fresh trim. Uh, as you're watching this now, right, it's Sunday. So, yeah, I will be on holiday. I will be on holiday in Barcelona. I'm going out there for a week. Uh, but I've still got content for you guys. I'll explain it in a minute. I'm going out for a week. I'm actually going, well, my family's going in general. And I, there's another fly here again. I swear every time I film, there's a fly. But I'm going out there to film content, content, content for a whole week. The grind never stops. So even when I'm on holiday, it's not holiday. It's working for me. But yeah, I'm filming out a lot of good content out there. Daily videos, as usual. And I, this week has been the hardest week of my life. I, I can't lie. I'm, the fly is there. If, are you seeing this? Like, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, by the way, the plant, I realised that uh, a couple things. First of all, the plant is still here, but I also realised that nobody cares about the plant. Nobody comments about the plant. No, we haven't got a name for the plant yet. No one cares. I care, but I actually watered it this morning. So that was freaking cool. Hey, how are you doing? It's not going to talk to me, is it? No, I'm just checking, yeah. Uh, cringe, no. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm still looking for podcast guests, as usual. So comment down below if you want to be a podcast guest or co-host. And also, do you know how normally at the start I'll talk about Love Island that's happened this week? There's another fly again. This is actually pissing me off. But I used to talk about Love Island and go on about that for a few minutes and just waffle on about it. I'm not doing that this time because <laughs> you're, you're smirking there because people, I've, I've been told from people that they don't, they, they don't want to know about that. Like, if I'm making co Love Island content, put it in a video that will involve Love Island content. But anyway, yeah, going to Barcelona, I've actually rescheduled videos. So I've been basically producing like four or five videos each day, filming them, editing them, and I've had like no sleep. Last night I was on about two hours sleep, and I'm tired now, but you know what? Drank some coffee, some tea uh, this morning, so I'm fine to film for now. The grind never stops, yeah. Always hungry for success. We've got a few topics to talk about today. This is not gonna be a long one, uh, because, you know, I've got to go pack. It's literally the day before. It's a Saturday I'm recording this. And tomorrow morning, in a few hours, I've got a, I've got a flight. Well, I really should not be doing this. <laughs> but content for you guys. And recently as well, I've been really appreciating all the feedback I get from all of you people. You seem to enjoy the content. Obviously, some videos aren't you know, up to date, aren't, aren't the best. But you know, I'm always trying to improve myself, just like you sh people should. Now, I want to talk about this. Bella Delphine, yeah, or Dolphin, I don't know, she could be a dolphin, I'm not sure at this point, because she does some weird things with creatures, but this YouTuber, with a big following, female YouTuber, the one with the pink hair, you've seen her, she's selling bath water. Now when I saw this, I originally thought it was just a YouTube video idea, you know, like, oh, I sold my bath, I mean, that would, that would, that would bang views, you know, but it's not, quite frankly, she's actually selling her own bath water, um, in her sh store, I don't know how much it is, 30 quid, 20 quid, and or dollars, and it's ridiculous, like, first of all, there's been a report, because I watched Jack made video, you should go watch that, that is hilarious, by the way, I think it's like 50% of people that are receiving them, for some reason, I don't know, if you bought one, congratulations to you, you are a special type of human being, my friend, but are drinking them and getting disease, not diseases, but getting illnesses and stuff, like, wh what do you expect, honestly, like, you're drinking somebody's sweat, and like their DNA, like what would you? You won't be growing a Bella Del Thien, Del Dolphin inside you. Like it's not good. It's weird, but it does show that doing weird things or fucked up things or controversial things does get you far on YouTube. But I do feel like it's one of those things where it has a lifespan, it has a shelf life, if you would say that. I guess because it's one of those things where them YouTubers that blow up, they peak and then they literally pivot right down to the floor because. They make that one video or they have that one little period and then they don't know how to sustain it. That's why I feel like one of, some of the best YouTubers, like Nika Higa, PewDiePie, KSI, are people are YouTubers that have obtained that amount of success and you know work ethic and you know creativity for that much longer in a platform. And I'm hoping to be one. I mean I've been I made my I've said this all the time, I'm bragging about this, but I made my channel in twenty ten. I've been going for a long time, you know, and it's only a matter of time. There's a flight on me. Uh, until I succeed. Also, I've got, I've, got, I've got some facts for you, all right? It's a little segment, but I've got some facts for you right now. I'm looking at I'm looking at here from BBC, so it's, it's a good source. There's been rumours, and I think I've said it before, but I want to touch on it a bit more, that Instagram are going to be taking away likes off of Instagram. Like, you won't, if you see someone's post, so how it works is like, for example, let's just say, I don't know, David Beckham, so, so how it works, let's just say, if Will Smith puts a post up, it'll say, liked by Jaden Smith, uh, Kanye West and others. It won't say how many others, so it's good and it's bad because it's going to ruin a lot, a hell of a lot of careers 
uh, that are you know Instagram models or anything like that. And I think I think it's good in a way like. I mean, not that they're taken down, but the fact that these Instagram models, as much as they can, you know, uh, be called dumb and they don't do nothing, but I, I feel like they are much different to the, the usual, you know, runway model or, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're sort of models you just stand there and take a picture because they are clever. Like, people don't realise, they just think they're taking a picture of their ass, which they are, and I keep it up because we enjoy it, and their body or whatever it is, or just even men, like, cool photos and stuff on the holiday, but it's the business mind that they have because... Some people as well, I've been looking this, into this recently and I wanted to do it for a video day. You can flip accounts, you can buy an account with like 50k followers for about 250 pound and you can, or dollars and you can flip it and, and build up the account. It has to be in a niche which is growing industry like fitness, uh, food, uh, healthy, in something like that, sports. And, you, and if you get it up to, I don't know, let's say you get up to like a, you get up to 100,000 followers, you can, you can make a bag of that like 10k, 12k easily. I've seen it done before many times but... And I feel like they're creative as well. They are creators as what much as YouTubers are. Obviously, it's just in picture form. Sometimes in video form, but mostly Instagram models. They literally know what they're doing. They know what response they're going to get by doing certain things, taking certain pictures. I respect that. However, there is the other side of the argument which raises the question of, you know, suicide and, you know, uh, mental health, which I've touched on a lot. Like, I do touch on a lot. But like, I understand fully where the industry, social media are coming from. If you take everyone bases their self worth, their self esteem, and how they feel about their self, their happiness on likes. Like if you feel, sometimes even though I do that and stuff with numbers, if you just take a step back and just look at it as if it was a hundred years ago, what is what's good? What the fuck? Like they, it's not normal behaviour. Like even me, if I don't get a certain amount of likes on a picture, or if I don't get this many views, I'm sat, I'm honestly, we're not going to use the word depressed, but, you know, you, you get down about it, because you're like, oh, well, what, you feel like insecurities about you, or is this not happening, is this not working, am I not doing something right, but, you should honestly, I've got to stay in mind now, no matter what you put out, whether it's a video, a picture, you should be happy with it, because you know the reason inside why you put that out, you think it's good, and that's all that matters. But obviously, it will prevent people caring so much about, oh, she's got more followers than he, he's got more followers than them, and so on. Also, I want to touch on J. Cole's album, Revenge of the Dreamers, Revenge, you've seen it, the cover and stuff. I've listened to that all this week. I actually in love with it. And this is what I love about hip-hop artists these days, and especially J. Cole. He's moved the pivot in such an essential way in the industry. Like, like I said before, he's helped that little pump. He goes to his album, some of the, mo a lot of the songs don't even feature him on it. Only a few of them do, because he gives a platform, which is Dreamville, and I love the company. It's a bit like the TDE, the tie-dye thing with, um, you know, kind of, um, Kendrick Lamar and so on, but... These rappers that are influencing the industry and influencing micro influencers like us to, you know, make music to actually uh, give a good message out, and he's seen that through various people and a lot of underground people in that album. That now they have the platform, they're booming, and it's not even just about the clout. It's about they actually produce good music, but they can't be heard sometimes because you know they don't have X, Y, and Z, or they don't have the money or don't have the clout. And I feel like J. Cole does an excellent job of doing that. Like, it's weird. I've never really seen that sort of thing. And I feel like them groups is something like what I want to make. Not just about YouTube or videos or social media, but it's just a group of entertainers entertainers, sorry, that can produce together a project, whether that be an album, whether that be a piece of, a form of art, which is, you know, them, them, for them it's music. But I feel like, though, it's very good to let your social outlet, whatever that is, maybe music, you know, photography, pictures, videos, and... Also get other people involved, helping other people so, you know, you're not just by yourself doing it, other people can help you. People underestimate underground the hip-hop artists, like, there's some dope-ass rappers that probably, like, you, you would never have known if you didn't actually look into these people. But that's been it for today's podcast. It's been a very short one. We have to keep it short and simple. We touched on a few things, you know. Um, but, Bella Delphine. I mean, I mean, I feel like I feel inspired to start my own business. Now I'm joking, but thank you ever so much for watching the podcast. More episodes in the way. Also, comment down below if you want to be my co-host or guest. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, turn on the post notifications, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Mm -hmm.